Today, we will deploy the Aligned Elements Word add-in using Office 365 Admin Center. Aligned Elements uses Word for reporting, and this Word add-in from Aligned contains all those functions that we need to create and update Aligned Element Word reports. The add-in needs to be installed on all the computers for the users that wants to use this Aligned Elements functionality. Now, if your organization uses Office 365, then the add-in can be deployed using the Office 365 Admin Center. And this can be done by your local IT person who is responsible for Office 365. Now, let me show you how the deployment is done. First of all, you need a manifest file from Align. If you do not have this manifest file, or if you haven't created it during the installation, then you need to ask your Aligned Elements representative for it, or contact us at support at align.ch. This manifest file contains information on how to connect and access your Aligned Elements installation for necessary data. It has been set up for your particular Aligned Elements installation, and it is unique for your organization. Given that you have this file, and that you can access Admin Center. Now do as follows. You navigate to the Admin Center. I'm at the Admin Center here. And I need to go to Settings. As we can see here, Settings is not displayed. On the left side here, I need to select Show All and magically the Settings appear. I click on Settings on the dropdown and then select Integrated Apps. I can now see all the apps that are currently installed or the add-ins that are currently installed. And what I need to do now is to select Upload custom apps. I click here and choose how to upload app. Here we can add a manifest file or do something else. We have a manifest file, so that's what we're going to do. We select this, we select choose file, we navigate to the uh, location of the file, and now it automatically starts validating and uploading this file. I then click next. And then I can decide who in my organization should get this add-in. It could be the entire organization, just me if I want to use it for test purposes, or a specific user uh, or user group. I click on specific users and user groups, and then I can start adding uh, members from my organization here. I'm going to add myself, and then I click Next. Just to set the app permissions and capabilities, click Next, and this is now ready to be deployed. If I click Finish Deployment here, this can take some time until the deployment is done on all the computers. It can take to up to an hour, sometimes it's faster. So that is how it's done. If you now open Word, or if the user that has this add-in uh, opens Word, open a blank document here, then the add-in will show up in the Home ribbon on the right side, here, right here. Now, if you have users that after the deployment don't see the add-in here, then there are some common uh, reasons for that. One would be that the user is not logged in to Word using their Office 365 account. How would you know that? Well, you can click up here on the right. So here we can see that I am signed in with my Office 365 connected account. You would then have to ask the user, can you check here if you are uh, logged in with that particular account? Uh, the second most common reason is that not enough time has passed for the admin to actually deploy. You can troubleshoot this with uh, an additional method. To start out, you need to have the developer tab for that user in Word. How do you get that? Well, you click on File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and you make sure on the right side here that the developer tab is checked. And once that is checked, you have access to that ribbon. And in this ribbon, there is an add-ins button. So you click on this add-ins button. There's actually three, but you need the leftmost one called add-ins. And then you get a dialog that, that looks like this. It has three tabs on the top, and you need to click admin managed. If you click Admin Managed, then all those apps that you have distributed using Office 365 Admin Center should show up. And if it doesn't show up, then something went wrong during the deployment or not enough uh, time has passed. So you click the Admin Managed tab and it should appear here. That's how you deploy the Word add-in using Office 365 Admin Center.